Welcome to another Mortal Online 2 video. Today I am going to discuss cooking, give you some recipes, a general concept of cooking, and how to lose weight and gain weight. Kind of a mix of a tutorial. Let's start with the basis of nutrition and weight. In Mortal Online 2, you have something called health reserves. Mana reserves, stamina reserves. Thirst and hunger. Thirst, we're going to ignore. Hunger is the main thing. You need to have hunger in order to eat food. When you eat food, I have some foods here. I have some luscious spelt bread. I have some delicate roasted corn. You see that most foods and even non-foods like this human skin have different values of health nourishment, stamina nourishment, mana nourishment, and other things too alcohol, direct healing, various things. And with the combinations of these things, you get various foods. This bread here, for example, it will give you 155 stamina nourishment per tick of eating. Let's eat some of this right now. And you can watch these numbers go up. But look carefully on the right side. We have a max number. This max number is dynamic. It's not static. It goes up and down according to how much food you eat. Ready? We're going to eat a stamina nourishing food right here. We'll eat this delicate roasted corn with 189. We're eating a lot of it because we're starving. Watch this number go up. When this first number hits max, it'll start raising the second number over time. We want to start walking now to stop eating. Because if you want to gain weight in this game, and weight we're going to talk about in a minute, it's very important for all people's builds. <laughs> Your weight will give you bonuses and debuffs. You see here is once you start stuffing yourself beyond, this right number will start slowly ticking upwards. This was a 4341 a minute ago, I'm pretty sure. As that starts to go up, your character will start to gain weight. And if you overeat, when if, if you eat health reserve food, this gets up to 4345 and you keep eating, that will really aid you in gaining weight. To lose weight, you want to lose these numbers. If you're a fighter or you're taking a lot of damage, you're going to lose health reserves. If you use a lot of mana, you're going to lose mana reserves. Mana doesn't seem like it affects weight. You guys can comment down below. Uh, but mainly it's the health reserve food. Secondary is stamina. I've gained weight by eating too much stamina food, believe it or not. And it might be mana too. I've never like engorged, engorged myself on mana food. So maybe the mana reserves maxing out too. But different builds will use more reserves than other archers. Fighters will use a lot of stamina. I mean, you know, obviously. People lose weight by pressing the Sudoku button over and over again to drop all their reserves. When they're dropped, you rest up by sitting, not eating. And that'll bring these down a little bit as you rest up. And you keep doing that to lose weight. Now... <clears throat> that being said, let's get into the basics of cooking. You have to understand that all foods out there and ingredients out there have a state of being, we'll call it. That's my fancy word for it. Basically, you have meats and solids. You have fats like butter and... and uh, and maybe this corn oil, okay, oils, fats. And then you have liquids, liquid bases, which is like milk, water, juices. You get juices from the press, okay? And different ratios of these ingredients with whatever cooking tool you're using will give you different foods like bread, like dumplings, okay? This is appealing boiled rye dumpling, so it's made with rye flour, with green jamboree juice and wisent. 
Now, all those words mean absolutely nothing. At the, right now, cooking is a very shallow, massive ocean. So that means that at the end of the day, it's just your nourishments that matter. And all the fancy words up above in titles are really just for RP at this point. It's very cool to make very long worded recipes and give somebody like fermented teeth or fermented human skin with Wysint and all this and Karuva, which is like cinnamon, right? As you mix and match different things, you're going to get different results on this final product. You know, this, this is this luscious spelt bread, simple, and it gives you this. But if you were to add salt or pepper, different things you buy from the grocer, it'll give different bonuses and, and you know, plus and minuses to the final product. Let me give you a couple ideas right now. I am only a regular cook. I'm not an advanced cook. So we can't use some of the more advanced cooking tools. I will show you in a minute. But if you were to take the cooking pot, okay? If you put ingredients in there and you have less than 25% of a liquid base, it will make a stew. If you have 26 to 50%, you'll make a boiled dish. And if you have 51 to 90% liquid, it'll make a soup. And 90 plus percent will make a decoction. Let me give you an example. Do I have enough water on me? We have 254 water. So if we take a hundred water, okay. And we just take nine Karuva. That's definitely more than 90% water. And we hold the cook and it should make a decoction. As you can see here, Sapid Karuva decoction. Okay. Now with the same cooking pot, if we were to do, you know, 50, what is it? 26 to 50% makes a boiled dish. So let's do like 44 water. And, um, see, I'm not the best at percentages, but if we take some of this dire wolf meat now, 25, I'm guessing what? 60. Let's play around with it. We're learning together. 60 direwolf, 40 water. That doesn't seem like 25%. Let's see what happens. This makes boiled direwolf. We hit the number. Perfect, right? But if we wanted to make a soup now, we'd put 110 and the same, maybe 50 direwolf, right? Let's do 55. And this should make a soup. Delectable dire wolf soup. Now we have three different things here and we, we can really compare these two boiled and soup. What's the difference? The soup seems like it gives you more stamina and mana and a little bit less health. Whereas the boiled gives you double the health and 50% less of the other two. So you really got to play around with it and use it for RP purposes. Um, using the same cooking pot if you were to do oils in there or fats you would fry stuff negative 44 percent fat would do deep fried and then 44 to 79 percent fat you'll start making some wild stuff like for example i need to get more fats but if we did 55 butter twenty for flour here i got some corn flour okay and then 35 percent filler basically the numbers are 44 to 79 percent fat 21 to 56 percent flour and then 35 percent filler it's all ratios like three to one two you'll make deep fried nuggets of some sort like if we had chicken it would make chicken nuggets maybe let's do 33 of the dire wolf. We're going to make dire wolf nuggets right now. Um, we got to make some room. Let's put some black pepper in this recipe, right? We still need to make room. Get rid of the wolf brush. Get rid of the dagger. Are we going to make nuggies? 
We are. Look at this. This is Esculin Dire Wolf with corn and pepper deep fried in butter. Kind of like a little nuggy. So. I am going to have all these up on the screen, the recipes, like the ratios, but I'm also going to link a guide that we are pulling some of this information from so you can go deeper down the rabbit hole. If we were to switch tools and use the baking stone, okay, without destroying it, to bake bread, okay, you need 40% flour, 20% liquid or oil, and the rest filler, okay? So we want, we're gonna make dire wolf bread. We have 111 milk. That's our liquid. We're gonna need double that of flour, 222 flour, I guess. And then we need some filler. Why don't we put some dire wolf meat filler? 77 dire wolf and it's all just playing around with these numbers and ratios and here we go we got piquant cornbread with dire wolf and milk believe it or not when you hand somebody a different form of food a dumpling a bread subconsciously even without rping even without having different effects and things they are going to treat the food very differently when you give them some bread, some nuggies, we call them. You have to play around with the different seasoning, salt, pepper, yada, yada, yada. You know, different things you find in the wild, even weird stuff like human skin. Let me show you, you can even cook that up. We're gonna use the spit, okay? The spit is, you have to just use, it's a barbecue utensil basically. You can use a wood, a fuel source. You could throw some wood in there. So it's like mesquite roasted. We might even try this Karuva. Let's see. Let's do human skin with a little bit of corn oil, all right? What's gonna happen? Let's throw some salt in there too. Let's salt it, 22. I don't know. Play around, have fun, let's see. This is appalling Karuva roasted human skin with corn oil and salt. So you can like mesquite roast it. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have to add that wood. That's just a bonus, like a little spice. Now the real like other tools, and I'll have these up on the screen after we edit. These steam pot, baking pot, smoke box, fermentation. This is advanced cooking, but real quick, like the smoke box, for example, it is, it's required to have a fuel source because you're smoking your food. A fuel source could be coal, wood, or even some wacky stuff. Wacky stuff, guys. Like fermentation salts, uh, different salts you can buy from, you know, the utility vendor, the equipment vendor, you know what I'm saying? I'll have this edited, fast forwarded. But yeah, you can even use fuming salts. To smoke with you can use these as a seasoning it's it's pretty pretty wild uh, like i said cooking is a vast shallow ocean it'll get deeper when they add food bonuses food buffs effects alchemy effects who knows little you know maybe bonus to swinging speed bonus to running who knows the uh possibilities are endless but let me know what you think down below. I'm going to have the guide link down below. Make cool recipes today. Don't just give somebody roasted corn. You know, if you want the most bang for your buck, obviously, you'll take flour, you'll take corn, and you'll just roast it on a spit. That's what makes some of the best stamina food in the game. But if you add a little spice to it, play around, you might have a little less, you know, not top of the line, but it'll be way cooler, guys. Look at these dumplings and breads we made and nuggies. Get out there today and go start cooking. Let me know what you think of the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit that subscribe button and I will catch you on the next one.